brisket. Look at this piece of brisket. It's so fatty. That's insane. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina. Right now I'm taking you south to the Dilworth area to have a delicious food and cocktail wine tour. We're going first to Goodford and Montford to have some delicious food. Then we're going to Midwood Smokehouse to have some delicious barbecue. Oh, it's gonna be incredible. And then from there we're going to Dot 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 for some cocktails. And then after that, we're going to the Dilworth Tasting Room to try some wines. I'm excited, North Carolina has some amazing wines. I didn't even know they had a wine region here. And the food's gonna be incredible. Let's go to Dilworth and eat some food and drink some drinks. Let's go. How you doing? Driving into the Dilworth area, as you can see, this is like a beautiful street, lots of green trees and huge mansions. I mean, I don't know, it feels like there's like 50 mansions right here on this street. Every single one is like, I mean, huge. Here we are at Good Food on Mumford. They basically have creative American food. Let's go inside. Hi, I'm Bradley McLean, general manager for Good Food on Mumford. We're a tapas restaurant over in the South Park area, Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, small plate tapas, but not Spanish tapas. Very eclectic, very seasonal. And we have a revolving um, beer and wine list. Um, a lot of local stuff that we use. So tonight here at Good Food and Montford, I'm going with five different dishes. I'm going with the Garganelli pasta, uh, steam bun, Korean beef, lumpia Shanghai, the Prince Edward Island mussels, and I'm going with a Cabernet from Century Oaks, California. Oh, amazing. Here we have the steam bun, five spice of rub, pork belly, hosen, and pickled vegetables. They gave me a knife, I don't know why, because I'm gonna take this down. This bun looks incredible. Pork belly, oh my god. This is one of the best pork bellies ever. Mm, with the bun. The hoisin sauce gives it like this Chinese taste. Oh. This, this bun is just so good. It really feels like I'm eating a pork belly bun in China. The sauce kills it. Alright, so here we have the lumpia, the Shanghai lumpia. So it's basically a Filipino dish. It's, a, it's an egg roll with a chicken. A chicken stuffed spring roll with tequila noir jam and fresh herbs. Ooh, instead of so what you gotta do is gonna make it like a lettuce wrap. Dip it. Oh my god. Oh man, it's extremely hot right now. Oh, so delicious. So I'm, I love the way they do this. So they basically made it like a super thin spring roll, stuffed it with some chicken, lettuce wrap, and it's like a super hot sauce. Mm. Oh, hot and cold, spicy. I didn't have it this good in the Philippines. I love this restaurant. And here we have the Prince Edward Island mussels. Oh my god. What do I use here? Oh, I love mussels. Mm, a buttery, peppery sauce taste. Mm, I know what the bread is for. Put the sauce in the bottom. Oh my god. Drown the bread in the sauce. Whatever the sauce is, it feels like I'm having like a fish pasta. How creamy the sauce is, because usually I have like some white creamy pasta sauce. Oh, I think they put way more than it does in here. I can go forever with these. The sauce is insane. I mean, I can drink, it's like a soup, right? Yeah. Those mussels with that sauce. Oh, and I'm having a glass now, Bordeaux. We got the Italian sausage with this pasta. It's a small pasta, but at the same time, it's really filling. Love it. This is like similar to like a, I guess like a bolognese, 
but with the Italian sausage in big chunks and this different type of pasta. This is one of their original items and they sell a lot of this. So you get all the chunks for the Italian sausage because it's ridiculous. Here we have the New York style cheesecake with poached pears, tuac, and mint. Oh my god. Look at this thing. This is like a super decadent dessert. I've never had poached pear on top of a cheesecake before. Ooh. The pear looks like a gelatin. Alright, I have to finish the whole thing. That caviar they put is like a boba. They have a super gelatin. Asian jelly is freaking amazing. They also put like a whipped cream on top. This is on a different planet of amazing. Okay, so we're continuing our tour here in the Dilworth neighborhood and we're going to the Midwood Smokehouse, the number one barbecue joint in Charlotte. Let's go inside and eat some barbecue. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Let's go inside. My name's Michael at uh, Midwood Smokehouse on Park Road. And we are a smokehouse. Uh, we are known for all of our smoked meats and uh, Texas style barbecue along with Eastern style barbecue. Uh, I always recommend the brisket. Um, the brisket, as far as North Carolina goes, is a little bit difficult to get a Texas style brisket. Uh, but not only is the brisket well known here in North Carolina, I've had multiple people from Texas uh, saying that it is comparable, if not better, than the actual Texas brisket itself. Uh, so definitely do that, and the ribs. Ribs are probably my favorite. Uh, when it comes to bourbon, uh, we do pride ourselves uh, tasters of each of our bourbons. Uh, we The rye, uh, I would do with the brisket. Our bullet rye goes very well with the brisket, along with the Knob Creek rye. All right, all right, so what we have here it's a flight of bourbon. This is crazy. I don't know exactly what they put here, but there's one from North Carolina and the rest of them are spread out. Some from Tennessee, you know, Southern States. How do I even try this? So strong. Woo. Oh, that's water. <laughs> I get it. What they brought me was a cornbread skillet and jalapeno wrap bacon. Look at this. Jalapeno wrap bacon. Oh, it's hot. But the bacon, mmm, delicious. I guess it's ranch. I never would have thought wrapping jalapeno with bacon. It's pretty hot. So this bourbon, they take the barrels out to sea and then they wait and then they bring them back in and they're bottled. By the awesome. way, the jalapeno's like hot. Yeah. But Both. that's why they put them from Charlotte to, to lightest in this bag. So you'll be okay like if you come in there. It's not so bad, right? I mean it's <laughs> tough, it's tough. And right here we have the cornbread skillet. Cornbread. Love it. This is a huge piece of butter right here. Huge. I'm gonna cut this. See what I eat here. Sweet, fluffy. This is like all cornbread. It's crazy. This is just a massive cornbread. They had to do this to me. I think they knew that I love cornbread. I really do. Just one of my favorite breads in the world. And the butter on top, just overkill. Oh, this is so good. These are really the best right here. The staff here really wants me to try the well-fed barbecue plate. And basically what we have here is we have some more jalapeno wrap bacon. We have beans, hush puppies, barbecue ribs, brisket, pulled pork, and pulled chicken brisket. Look at this piece of brisket. It's so fatty. That's insane. Brisket is my favorite thing about barbecue. Mm. Now that's for the ribs. Mm. The problem is that I ripped the rib out of all the meat. The meat's here. There we go. Oh my god. I love barbecue ribs. Next up is the pulled pork. Next to it, we have pulled chicken. Mm. I love pork and chicken like this, like shredded, ripped apart. They have a tomato based barbecue sauce. Instead, it's for the brisket. So I'm just gonna pull it out. Oh, right there. 
This is something delicious about barbecue sauce. I've been doing barbecue my whole life, and I am in love with it. Habanero barbecue sauce. Wow, it's spicy. This is gonna hit me like in five minutes. Maybe one minute. The bull chicken with this mustardy barbecue. I like it. I'm just gonna have some more ribs though. Now I'm gonna put it in the habanero barbecue. Right there. I'm doing amazing. Thank you. I know I've said it before, but when you come to North Carolina, you have to eat some barbecue. And this is the number one place. And they have many locations, and they have five locations. Mm. Then you're looking good. So I gotta try the beans. It's the one thing I haven't tried. It has like a barbecue smoky taste to it. Mm. I'm sure there's pork in there, for sure. Now let's try the brisket with the, the mustard barbecue. Oh, it's good. I gotta say though, these these beans are so insanely good. I feel my waist expanding from the earlier meal. Now this. Okay, so our tour of the Dilworth continues. That barbecue was so good. Midwood Smokehouse, have to visit. They have five locations in Charlotte. You gotta visit at least one of them when you come to Charlotte. And next up, we're going to dot dot dot. This is a speakeasy bar, and it's membership only. So they're giving me access tonight. Like I said before, Da 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 is a private club, members only. You can only get in here if you're friends with a member or you are a member. So I suggest you find somebody who is a member so they can take you in. Hi, my name is Stefan Newbear, owner and proprietor of Dot 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 here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, welcome to our fine establishment. We're a great private membership club, classic cocktails, jazz and blues, perfect place to bring your date out. Small plate restaurant, get some great bites along with some great cocktails. Burning leaves, green chartreuse, Delamayo Vida, uh, Mezcal. We have our house made uh, sweet and sour, which is lemon, lime, and sugar, along with our fall syrup, which is uh, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, star anise, allspice, and brown sugar. This is mezcal with some French liquor, and he said it's basically the fall, like burning leaves. Mm. So many things in here. Like you don't taste alcohol, but it's there. It really feels like a wintry drink. I feel like I'm drinking this in Poland right now. Okay, had a drink at dot dot dot. Great cocktails. Love the vibe in there. Super cool. It's speakeasy. Our last stop tonight is Dilworth Tasting Room. I cannot wait. We're gonna have some incredibly yummy wines. Let's go. Hey, how you doing? David. Yes. Everything good? Yeah, everything good. Perfect, man. Made it here to our last stop, Dilworth Tasting Room. Let's try some North Carolina wines. Hi, I'm Jacob Van Horn, and I'm the general manager of Dilworth Tasting Room in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're a new concept in Charlotte. We've been around almost two years now. We pride ourselves on our wine selection, which is curated by our owner, master sommelier candidate, Joffrey Kovic. We offer an ever-changing wine list, which has about 40 to 50 wines by the glass, and a further selection of about two to 300 bottles. But it's not only our wines that change uh, regularly. We're a tasting room, so our food changes regularly as well. We do a brand new menu about every three to four months. Right now, we have a very Moroccan and North African themed menu but we're looking to change that up uh, at, at about the turn of the year. We also change our cocktails on a frequent basis. Whether it's daily or weekly, we have different specials on cocktails, always have new wines by the glass, and always have new exciting food items to try. So we like to encourage our regulars to come back and always see what we have going on. This is a German Gewürztraminer, uh, St. Christopher. It's going to be an off-dry white wine from Germany. A little bit crisp, a little bit of citrus notes. Next, we have a Quattro Mani Monte Pucciano de Abruzzo from Italy. Perfect. Finally, one of our dessert wines, a Disnoko Tokajiazu from Hungary. A good, a good mix of international wines. No, I love the selection, man. Very diverse. German, Italian, Hungarian. And this Hungarian one, well, I'll tell you a story about that later. <laughs> mm. Oh, super dry, super light. Gewürztraminer. I've never tried this wine before. It really reminds me of being like on the Rhine River, Danube. Those wines there between Austria and Germany. 
Oh, delicious. That's amazing. Quattro Romani from Abruzzo, Italy. Abruzzo is a region in Italy next to Umbria. Oh, nice. Very light, little fruity. Oh, really nice. This guy is too much. <laughs> Finally, this is a country that we specialize in. Our owner is Croatian, and our bar was modeled after Croatian wine bars. This is Zlatan Plavik Bura from Croatia. It's similar to Zinfandel in structure. It and Zinfandel were descended from the same grape, and you'll find some of the most stunning wines in the world coming out of Croatia right now. This is Zlatan Plavak. This is from Croatia. I went to Croatia in 2008, and I drank a lot. I drank a lot more of Rakia, but... It's another story. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. It's crazy. It's like a whole different world from the Italian red. So, in case you guys don't know, my grandmother is from Serenj. It's a small town in northern Hungary, next to the border with Slovakia. And the next town over is the Tokyai, and they make some of the sweetest dessert wines in the world. They're like really, really good. It's like a super creamy white wine. Oh, wow. I love it. That's it. No more. So this is another dessert wine. This is a late harvest Zinfandel Tobin James Liquid Love. This is from Paso Robles, California. Tobin James Liquid Love. It's a Zinfandel sweet wine from California. Some more sweet wine. It's like a more alcoholic port wine. That's what it is. Woo! That was strong. All right, so I hope you guys love this food and wine tour of the Dilworth neighborhood. It's been so amazing. I gotta tell you guys that Charlotte has some incredible food. Like, oof, mouth-watering, delicious, yummy. Can't stop, I can't stop with the wine either. I mean, this has been an incredible night. I gotta thank my friend that Charlotte's got a lot, because it has a whole lot. Let's go.